Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video from Ling Ling. Today we're gonna do yet another language video. And if you're thinking, why is her camera moving? It's because I forgot my tripod, so I'm gonna make the movie, the movie, the video without my tripod, just holding the camera. So sorry for that. I hope that's okay. Anyways, in my language series, you know, I take a Chinese very popular term right now and then link it to a society either problem contemporary Chinese contem contemporary Chinese society problem or something that's just really popular to discuss these days and today we're going to talk about girls how we categorize different kinds of girls we're talking about two we are going to talk about two terms today so without further ado let's get started ah. the first term we're going to talk about is nu shen nu shen nu shen it means goddess so uh, this term is used about the beautiful girls you see on tv or follow online or you know you have a really beautiful crush somewhere and you're like oh that is my new shen <laughs> also nanshen you can also see god like goddess and god is kind of the same so of course if you're into girls then you're looking for a new shen and when you if you're into guys then you're looking for a nanshen but today we're going to talk about the girls so new shen is basically just beauty like a lotus flower blooming Weird metaphor. Anyways, you know what I mean. <laughs> that is the first uh, term because beauty is everything. The outside is important here. Uh, Chinese in Chinese society, I discussed this before. Um, you know, watch TV, just see how everyone has gotten their plastic operation done, their eye surgery, nose, and na na na. We can go on forever on that account. So this is the first term, the nushen nushen the goddess the beauty queen so the second term we're going to talk about is a term that has uh, you know become more popular during the last few years because actually it comes from another word okay let me tell you first there was the nan hansu nan hansu so nan for man and hansu for man actually hansu is also means man in a more um, like official way yeah so hans and nan has is like a strong man a really strong man who can uh, conquer the world on his own yes so of course a new term has come to china this one is nu hans nu hans so nu is for girl and or female and hans is still for this independent warrior or men <laughs> okay I'm making stuff up here you know where I'm going sorry guys I'm just I'm, I'm too creative sometimes <laughs> I didn't read about this I'm just making up my own story anyways new hands is this strong independent girl who can take care of herself she's duly she's independent and I love this term because of course I want to be a new hands and I also feel like I'm a new hands so we have the Nu shen and a nu hansu. I would definitely say if I had to choose one of those two, I would rather be a nu hansu. But that's probably because I grew up, you know, learning that independence, independency, is that a word? Um, is more important than looks. So yeah, that's the two terms for today. Please let me know in the comments below which one you are or which one you're looking for. If you're a male and you're looking for a girl, are you looking for a nu shen or a nu hansu? And also let me know if you can both be a new shen and a new hands. Um, if you're Chinese, let me know if that is actually a thing. I don't know. I just know these two terms are kind of like the opposite of each other because it's like beauty versus, you know, I can do it on my own. So beauty, I don't know. I feel like new shen is like you have to help her and like pay for her and this little beauty queen, you know, she needs you. Whereas the new hands is like, oh, I can do it on my own. Na -na 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 -na. I don't know if that makes sense. Anyways, please let me know in the comments below what you think. Thank you guys for watching this little video and uh, I'll see you again very, very soon. Ling Ling is out. See you and bye bye.